What's up guys? This is the Brothman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire to the Wallets play as Louisiana. So to round off up on last time we declared war on Britain and the offensive is on. We've managed to um, we ambushed and captured the city of Albany. We're going to push south to threaten Philadelphia. Then we also have this force up here which pushed down from um, Fort Nashwack. They are going to clean up the coast and secure Boston. But first we have to destroy this enemy troop concentration. So let's get to it. Ideally I would like to bring both my armies together prior to engaging all of those armies to the south. That would be my preference. Because a large a large uh, for a large um, section of our armed forces is militia. So I would prefer a bit more of a stronger foothold. So we've got our first field artillery regiment involved. Let's deploy our line infantry. Let's deploy a section of our militia. Their job will be tasked to clear the town. Let's keep some infantry as a reserve. Regroup two units of cover on the left. One unit of cover that's going to go wide around the town. Our rangers are going to push up through the forest. And our general is on the left. And our native aux auxiliary will wait their turn. It's a pretty neat little formation here. Make sure we put our cavalry in good positions. Mm, looks like, based on their movements, there's not going to be too much of a need to split. Oh, let me go, my pikes. Get out of the way, you. We'll move troops through the town, but they won't be. They won't necessarily be capturing it per se. So, what is our artillery folk hitting? Don't bother hitting the cannons in position. Instead, go for this Hessian line. And by the looks of it, with this large formation we're going to be splitting our troops in half one half is to be pushing around the flank then my militia half is going to be pushing through the center I think right into the muzzle of their artillery. But just keep pushing up. Okay, maybe push up with a bit more speed now. Especially these flanking forces, because they are so... Not useless, but they're just out of the way. Let's push our colonial line up, because they will also reinforce the centre. Native auxiliary can go down the centre as well. General's bodyguard can just move up. No point in trying to aim at their artillery because it's behind defences. Still going after our pikes? Yeah, it sure looks like it. You guys need to run. Yeah, I'm not going to fall for the bait. 
what my infantry to get up here in a good position to flank and sweep through this entire formation as my front line gets in position to do battle. I meant everyone except my general. Colonial Light, just keep an eye on there. Colonial Light. Yeah, just a bog standard unit of Colonial Line. Keep my cavalry wide. Ooh. They're charging us on this flank. We have. We are uphill. So we should have the advantage. And we have much more experience than they do. There we go. We're starting to burn powder. So let's push this wing up, ready. Wouldn't be surprised if we suffer from some marrow problems at the start. My Coeur de Bois and my other infantry are all in position to do some good stuff. babysit this cavalry a second so I want to charge them into the line I want to make sure they don't run through these defences the militia are involved at the far flank let's put my cavalry out of there My cavalry is one. Turn on fire at will when these men are at point blank range. I'd rather not going to be in killing range. But my colonial light is going to have a hell of a good go against these native warrior auxiliary. We aren't looking specifically to massacre them. Let's get my colonial, my militia into. God, God, they're actually carving through my cavalry pretty nicely. Busy reloading as fast as they can. Yeah, my infantry's doing a, b a bit better. Oh, come on, you may as well hack away. The gunners are about to uh, pack it in. Everyone's about to pack it in. Fleeing. I'm not, because I'm not massively bothered about making sure I 
destroy their forces. Mostly concerned about um, just winning. Let's turn fire a little off. Just let my cavalry in to do some damage. My pikes are going to finally catch up and hit the native war auxiliary and see them off. Hold my artillery right at the back. As soon as my pikes got involved, that was the end of that. Oh, that's, yeah, let's end it there. It was a nice win. We enveloped their forces and destroyed them on all sides and secured the territory for our men. So let's replenish as much as possible. Are these my guns? They are my guns. They can march up. Let's repair everything. And just upgrade everything as we go, because we've got much more money than we actually need. Then the next step is going to be Boston, who is being converted slowly. See, they do have a fairly hefty navy. But it's the actions of what these men will do. How will they respond? You men are replenishing. So let's, do an, actually, let's do an infrastructure check on our cities. That everyone is max or is being upgraded. Good. I'm fairly sure there's no obvious buildings to be upgraded. I mean, I don't want to upgrade these again. Then again, they've pulled back, so I can probably upgrade this chap now. So we're looking at socket bayonet. You should be really looking at something else. Totalitarianism. Let's keep the philosophy upgrades going. And we're going to win another 15,000 next turn. Our ministers are excellent, except for our head honcho. Um, but let's hit in turn and see what the response is to what we've done. The French are sending another navy. But that's okay, because I, I have a force being gathered in the south. suspect I will probably hold position with that force to destroy the uh, to destroy the incoming stack that's on the, on the way 13 colonists have responded but not conclusively neither has Britain looks like the Cherokee have also taken Richmond Virginia New York is on strike but not anymore I've taken Williamsburg. Okay, see so this force here needs to move up. Forward. For battle. I'm going to manually attack the city in order to minimise casualties. We need to push south. We do not want the Cherokee to take uh, Philadelphia. That is a strategic objective of ours. We do not want them securing that city. We need that industrial building. So these men are not ready to receive a British assault. So that's why I wanted to be... Why I want to manually manually fight this battle so we do have more artillery not that it's going to be super useful let's 
be sure our guns are targeting the howitzers. So I charge my militia up front because I want them to take the brunt of the uh, the artillery fire. I want to move my cavalry out to get into a position to take advantage of them. Leaving their artillery unprotected. My militia will take a hammering, but I'd rather my militia take a hammering than everyone else. And I might even charge my cavalry in to go hit their guns. So I think I can get a good target off. Yep, so my men are going to be, they are going to be upset fighting the Colonials. They're looking lovely as usual. It's nice than to form square. So then let's take this entire wing and charge them up. And these men are going to pour fire into the third regiment of foot. Present. Fire! God, the officer even got his pistol out, let it go. There they go. So this isn't a need, this isn't a need to kill them, but damn, some of these British units have folded with no concerns at all. So let's absolutely chase them down. Units to chase down the, the uh, grenadiers. Cause God damn, this was this is a major, major assault. We managed to win and knock out this British army with fewer casualties than than uh, I planned, which is nice. So we don't need to capture them because they will all be destroyed. It's more about sending a message. Could go after them. But There's more grenadiers. Ride them down. So there's... is there four left? Yeah, just three of them are turned to fight. So did the last. <laughs> Decisive victory for our men. Good, we've lost 34 men. And we've secured Boston. So let's repair... let's repair our stuff, build fortifications, it's tempting to destroy Plymouth and change it into a dockyard because we have building a port up here at Albany, we've got a trade port anyway up here, or no, we, no there, this is, this is ours, they're just blockading it, yeah lots of native troops here so that's not a massive concern. Clam for reform is creeping up. Okay, 
let's get my rake. Try to get him down here. I don't mind if they take Annapolis. What I care about is whether or not they decide to charge onwards. So the threat up here has been diminished. So let's dis delete those militia. Move my line infantry up and then we'll do some reorganising. Bring in some units of grenadiers as well, although that's the, all the grenadiers I can build. I do have you guys down here, but uh, I would imagine these fellas are coming for me, and they've got a bunch of fourth rates. And I'm not going to try to take them on. Oh, they might land here and land at Florida. Although they're only at war with me, so. Okay, let's see what these guys do. They'll probably raid their way around. But that's okay. The Brits are landing. They're landing reinforcements. Yeah, do not want to tangle with the French Navy. But I do have an absolutely massive war chest. So if I can research quickly down the naval tree, or fairly quickly, I should have put some put uh, Harrisburg on to research something then sea colonies are probably gonna go blockade me I mean I'm yeah I'm gonna fight that because my other army is nearby um, I presume we couldn't intercept due to lack of movement points but even then we'd already had a turn Maybe, or maybe it was because they were moving into attack, not not move around me. So my good old mortars can do what mortars do and just suicide. My men can just wait. In fact, they might just stand and take a mighty position. While I reposition my army over here. Ideally, like to get them up to here. It's probably not going to happen. could just run these guys away and not lose them in a fairly pyrrhic fight. Just position our forces, not necessarily in the best formation, but position them somewhere strong. Because we know we've got a lot of archers. Charge our light cavalry forward to try and intercept their general. Same with this cavalry, really. Form square, where cavalry? Force them away. Native bowmen are moving up. Just moving my artillery up because right now they don't really serve a purpose. Charge these men over to go hit. This regiment of archers. Let's 
do some damage to them. Let's fall back. Weirdly, this position back here isn't too bad. If we stay on the reverse slope. Yeah, so we've managed to have some shots at another with my other unit into the bowman, but let's get them back. run everyone up really fireball off for now and then back on unionated bowman is moving into charge these men will suffer for their determination. Probe with my cavalry again. See if I can spot any covert units moving up. There they are. push push further up into the into the uh, high ground the artillery here they're not in a terrible position because they can lob shots as their men press to the hill Hello, Hessian Line Infantry. Are you concerned about what's happening? Let's get my cavalry up on this hill. Trust in our brave soldiers to see them off. So I just want to make sure these Hessian troops don't come back. not so friendly fire so let's take these men and pivot I'm okay with my with my mortars being lost yeah they're pretty much gutted okay let's pick new targets for our guns. Their artillery is broken. Oh, 
some men pushed up. Crest of enemy men. Yeah, on the low ground, that is a lovely target. But the Louisiana Brigade were too brave to accept their surrender. They mercilessly slaughter their enemies. Fifth Regiment charging into our line. And they have been repulsed. Okay, let's pull one of our light cover units out, make sure they chase down the gunners. Let's make sure these guys don't start killing themselves. One set, one gun team. You've got them. You kill the crewmen for this set, wherever they end up, wherever they've actually run to. Tried to flank around the rear of the formation and it didn't work. Oops. There you go, just do as much damage as possible to their cavalry before they route completely. It's okay. Yeah, there's the crewman for that artillery piece. Most of these guys aren't worth chasing. I'll say that. I mean, most of the ones over in that far corner aren't worth chasing because they're so close to the edge of the map. Especially as we are just currently slaughtering their men. Hey, we got some marines. They went into the bayonet charge. Unfortunately, they are getting eviscerated. Can I stop the mortars from firing so they don't do anything too dangerous? So let's make sure things are safe. general can chase down the bowmen and then take out the marines but I'm pretty sure once they break the battle is over eh, go off. no actually the native bowmen are more annoying than the marines absolutely continue so yeah and fighting for me when fighting native units it's more of a tricky problem because you know common sense tells you to go for guard units go for good cavalry units go for artillery but in reality it's the native bow units that are so annoying when there's lots of them okay no, no they'll route they'll, well they'll get to route before my general gets there. So will everyone, but I'll still consider it a bit of a win. Oh, 
managed to get like three, three kills prior to them leaving the map. So now it's all my cavalry against this unit of colonial militia, which is about to rout. Damn right it was decisive, but the question is, where will it force them to go? Of course it makes them go. They demand peace, we refuse. We require your territories. So Mobile has been blockaded and we're still earning seven grand because of the territories we have taken. So let's take this force, march them up here. I will be intercepting them. Um, I just plan on doing some bits and bobs first. So yeah, they're not very happy because they've not got a garrison. But I suppose in the grand scheme that's what you can do. Yeah, that makes them chill, makes them chill out a bit. Shipyard. I mean, I suppose technically a fishing port is probably the best in the short term, but I've got a feeling we're going to take this area, especially if they're being reinforced with fairly junk armies. Come on, Mr. Rake, come have a look. Going under it's cover. unprotected, utterly unprotected. Let's upgrade this, let's upgrade the roads are being upgraded, and that's good stuff. Your orders, your majesty. The priest can stand on the border while I continue to convert the population. Not bad at the minute. New Haven will become a happiness building, so I intend to upgrade this guy to a university in due course, although I'd better set him to research something. Um, go for grenades, just to progress up the uh, artillery tree. Somewhat, then we're going to take Theodore Mirabeau, hit this guy, and are probably going to fight this in the next episode as a bit of a mopping up exercise. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of this frustrating 13 colonist army. Cheers, everyone.